in the cave. cave. Hi, hello, welcome. Hi. Ooh, tea's hot. Hopefully I don't spill it everywhere. The tea is hot. It's, it's hot. piping hot, everyone. Yeah. Welcome back to Persona 4 Ultimax Arena, where mm -hmm. we're playing as Yosuke. Wow. It's TB spilling. And he's... he gets the controller for one day, and now he thinks he's in charge. I'm the video game boy now, Crazy. Clay. You're the nanny now. Okay. Yeah, Do the sure. nanny work, nanny. Visual novel boy, advance the text. <laughs> um, it takes a very skilled player to understand when to precisely the advance the text oh, so in a way that keeps it, the emotional tension going mm -hmm. and the drama. Emotional tension, right, right, right. Emotion. Yeah. Emotion. I don't know if you already knew this watching VOD, but Ryotaro Dojima was supposed to be a playable character in Arena but Atlas refused the idea because he would summon Nanako instead of a Persona. Cowards. <laughs> Jordan! Absolute cowards. <laughs> Come, Nanako! How dare we they? We got veggies! You've got veggies! Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> it does double damage to Yosuke. <laughs> Tetracorn! Tetracorn! Awesome. Thanks, Jordan. I had no idea. Cowards. I would like to congratulate Zio and Light on their Discord wedding in stream highlights yesterday. Oh! Congratulations! <laughs> you did it! I'll have to go check that out. <laughs> I didn't RSVP in time. I didn't even get an invitation. Awkward. I don't know how I'm supposed to take that. Oh well. I, pro I probably would have, you know, ruined it anyway. <laughs> it's because you drink too much and then yeah. you flash everybody your booty. wasn't an open bar, I would have brought my own. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, let's roll into it. We're all here. It's time to do Juness now, which is the most difficult text to read, by the it way. It is, I know. Juness is crowded as hell thanks to Golden Week. I see some employees whispering to each other and looking at me, but I pretend not to notice. I run into you before everyone else. Thankfully, he doesn't bring up the nurse thing again, and instead, he talked about how uh, the welcome party that he had with Nanako. Maybe there's a little truth to that sister complex line, eh? <laughs> As we step into the food court, Chi and Yukiko are both sitting in their usual spots. Good to see you guys again. No one touches his precious Nanako. Hey, <laughs> right. You. The guest of honor is finally here. You're looking well. Welcome back. Um, should we? Yeah, we should. <laughs> should we hug? Should we kiss? Where are we? Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. Their voices are quiet. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? She's but so dorky. Came. Both of them sounded happy. Neither of them show this I'm totally depending on you attitude towards me. What's up with that? What's up hey, with that? Okay. Why the long face? Shut up. It's a man thing. <laughs> you just gotta deal with it. Aww. Aww. That's so sad because like a lot of a lot of men and boys think like, man, I have a problem. I guess I should just deal, deal with, with it. it. Oh, I think that's a lot of people. In general. A lot of people in general. Yeah. Um, but I think like as far as the man box goes. Yeah, that's something that man boxes like you get shoved into. Yeah. Oh, is it about your guidance counseling paper? The teacher asked me to tell you that you need to hurry and turn yours in. Oh, Huh? you haven't turned that in yet. <laughs> Yikes. 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 I love shut, that. Shut Yikes. Up. That's not it. <clears throat> Seeing you take a seat, I clear my throat to grab their attention. All right, well, let's start this. We can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the midnight channel going back on the air last night. <laughs> Everyone's like, do you have the power to reinstate the investigation team? And they just all look at you. <laughs> right. Oh, the team is back. Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. Shut up. I mean, it's pretty exciting, but the reason we're reforming the team is because there's another case to solve. Oh yeah. I look to you for some support. But he's clapping along with the rest of them. Kampai! Etu Narukami! Etu. He lives for the applause, applause, yeah. applause. And someone asked if we can skip uh, like familiar text. It's hard because there's so much text. Uh, new text with like other text sprinkled in that it's really hard. You just it would be really weird. At this point, for now, it's different enough that we're just gonna go through it. Yeah. 
after like the seventh time, we might be like, well, it's well, time to <laughs> to skip some. Anyway, seeing them all open up uh, to the idea takes some of uh, the tension out of the well, situation. Let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naotokun, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here, too. Naoto is another investigation team member. She was the last to join, and she's only a year below us in school. Even though she's a student, she's also a detective, and the cops rely on her for tough cases. Naoto helped out a lot during last year's incident. She's incredibly skilled, but that also makes her really busy. Even after the events of last year, she's been running around. She's, uh, she tried to get an opening in her schedule for today, but I guess it didn't work out. Uh, and Phil, uh, the raffles are always on... The picture on the TV was very clear last night. They're always on the last Friday of the month. The last uh, Friday of yeah. the month. Uh, like, it's been like that for for months and months. Uh, because the last Friday is a longer stream, so people have uh, the opportunity to enter a single raffle, mm -hmm. and uh, we do it at the end. So even if you don't want to be spoiled on Fire Emblem, you can just click to the end, and you'll be able to see the raffle winner without any spoilers or anything like that. Yeah, because we usually don't talk about things too far yeah. after. And we're going to be resetting the waffles on raffle days moving forward, too, so it's yeah. a little less confusing. Today is the last day for waffles this yeah. time, but going forward, raffle days, waffles are reset. Yep. Yeah. And top, uh, top three waffles go up on the board for mm -hmm. the month. Mm -hmm. But yeah, sorry, Phil. Um, always the last Friday of the month. And we'll usually give you a few days' notice as well on the streams. Mm -hmm. And I usually put it in the pings as well if you're in um, if you're in Discord. Yeah. Going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey, isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions? What? Insulting? Both Chio and Yukiko get angry, uh, saying, It's a fake! But the pictures of them on the Midnight Channel were pretty accurate, if you ask me. Of course, I'd never admit it. Hell no! I do value my life, you know. <laughs> a little sweat. What bothers and... me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah, you can't find him. Yeah, when a mascot for a channel goes missing, and then some sort of battle royale opens up, it might give people ideas. <laughs> this smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. I agree there. We don't have much choice but to ask Teddy why he's doing this. Which means... I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. Won't we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared. I mean, think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? Like anyone would be that clumsy. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate then. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. I'm gonna play a thing one second. Wham! Shout out to DP Nauto. Kaluis! Detective Prince Nauto. Detective Naoto. Prince Nauto. Oh, yours! The original DP, if you if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, OG DP. And someone asked why you showed up in his school uniform. That's actually a great question. That's one of those moments where it's like, you don't even go here! Right? And he still has his second year badge. Oh yeah, he does. Oh, it's nice they updated the other one's the third, though. Right? The host, Teddy, has disappeared. But he isn't the only one missing. Kanji was listed as one of the participants. And Risi wasn't e even mentioned on the TV. We're just gonna have to jump into the TV and investigate. You gives the order. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. I'd already lugged out all my weapons and junk today. Uh, with the intention of going into the TV. It'll be my first time in the TV world in a while. It's the first time I've done anything out of the ordinary in a while. This is serious business, but I can't help but get excited about this. You know what I mean? The days when we ran around town as the investigation team? I mean, it wasn't all fun and games. There were plenty of hardships and sad times. Oh, they used to go on the TV. Yeah, they did say that. It's his equipment, right? But I learned a lot of important stuff because of them. It changed me. <laughs> I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. Aww. 
So it makes me wonder. What about this time? Is something like that waiting for me? Something. Something that's going to change me. <laughs> like, like a massive amount of kink shaming? <laughs> I guess. Man, what am I thinking? I shake my head and focus on the task at hand. We don't know what lurks inside the TV, and yet we have the DLC. I removed it of the, the, the word, the term DLC from the title only so I could fit the word Yosuke in the title. And I was like, no one's gonna ask about DLC. Yes. Wrong. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wrong. Uh, we don't know what lurks inside the TV. Negligence could mean death. I leave the food court with the rest of the investigation team. I don't know if I've installed all the DLC though. It The PS3 shop is real bad. I think you can skip this. I don't need another seat. Into the TV! We're going to the TV. I don't know. Yeah, that, that scene kind of made me a bit nauseous. It made me feel nauseated the... too. Uh, you can just, uh, duh. actually we finished it, so it doesn't matter. You can save over it. Yeah. Boop. I don't like it either, Zero, but I mean, honestly, this is probably the most reaction that we're ever going to get. And also, it's a popular uh, term on YouTube. I don't make the rules. I'm a slave to the AI algorithm. I sometimes put funny things in the title because I don't. Oh. And then Clay goes, oh. okay. And Poison says walkthrough doesn't seem to fit. Oh, I got to fucking walk through everything. Oh, yeah. Walk through. Perfect. Do you want to walk? Keep, keep walking. Yeah. Keep walking. Oh, they can't see over there. No. T t turn your right. Turn right. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Walk through. Walking through. There you go. Yeah. Mm hmm. Wow. Do you guys get that? Everybody? Can't you put tags in the videos? Uh, they're taking tags away. That's what they've been saying for years. They're like, tags don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, if you talk to basically like any YouTube people and stuff. Well, not always official YouTube people. Depends on who you talk to. But um, other people, there's like tags are useless. They're basically useless. Like put the tags in there just in case. But most of the time they're useless. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I don't know. It depends on your definition of walkthrough. Everyone gets all fucking semantic about the Cause words like, the is title. it a pl it's more of a playthrough than a walkthrough. What's the difference? Or we're basically walking through the game, playing through it. doesn't matter. I have to compare which one is a uh, search through though, but now it's definitely a walkthrough. How many, uh, how many, how many players actually walk through the game? How many, how many, how many, I can hear a lot of people talking from far away. What's the point of tags? Honestly, they're largely useless, but you can actually put a unique tag in your video and then you can have, um, the playlist pick up that tag like you can go like hashtag persona 4 arena playlist and then you can add every video that has the persona 4 playlist actually, i actually have to make a playlist my bad um tag and it'll automatically add it otherwise tags are largely useless and they're just there because they used to be there <laughs> walkthrough is a guide this is persona 5 arena i'm falcon hoof i'll be your guide where am i I'm at a desk? No, I'm pretty sure I walked through the game, William. I raise my head slowly to find myself at the same old desk, with the same setting sun filling the room. Man, my mind isn't thinking straight. The game... The game does it to itself. Wait, what was I doing? Shoot, did I zoze off? <sighs> I should hurry home and get to work. What the? And then everybody clapped. All of a sudden, the sound of cheering echoes from outside. All the students in the classroom begin cheering and rush out of the room. The hell? Seriously, what's going on? I run to the window and I look down at the schoolyard. The area in front of the school gates is swimming with stu swarming with students. I look around, but there isn't anyone left in the room to ask. I don't want to be a rubberneck just because everyone else is. Mm rubbernecker it's like the, yeah i know i don't neck. it's a word that doesn't feel nice in my mouth <laughs> um but i have to find out what's going on after some internal debating i decide to go take a look recreated the uh star of dr1 
It very well could be. Like a reference. There's a giant Especially crowd. Especially the TV cameras everywhere. Like, like the, the TV camera there, it feels so Danganronpa. It's very Danganronpa. Also the bear. In the TV. I know. I like, <laughs> I don't know. It really feels... I wonder if they've ever addressed that. Because it feels so Danganronpa inspired. There's a giant crowd at the school gate. The gate itself has some funky decorations and a big ass sign. You won Grand Prix? I've seen those words somewhere before. But where was it? Where did I see it? My mind is all hazy. I can't think. Whoa! Now what? Do you think it's funny causing a commotion like this at school? I better see everyone involved in this heading home right now! I turn around to look at where that whistle came from and I see a female student standing there holding a megaphone. She has a long ponytail and strong-willed eyes. Damn! She's really hot! When did a girl like this show up at our school? And how did I not know about it until just now? She really stands out, but I don't think I've ever seen her near seen her before. Where did they get this huge set? Some people are always up to shenanigans. <laughs> oh, these pranksters with their incredibly expensive TV cameras right? and P1 Grand Prix custom tape. Ugh. So Does clever. <laughs> Prankies. Can the P4 gang go into the Teletubbies? Oh. Infernal Disdain! I don't want to imagine that. Uh-oh! Thank you. I can almost see the anger baking off of her. She definitely has a lot of spirit. And yet, none of the other students has so much as turned around. She gets ready to blow her whistle again when our eyes meet. Hello. Pre-contestant Yosuke Kun. Oh. I mean, Captain Ressentiment. Ressentiment. Everyone knows that word but me. Oh, right. I remember now. That P1 Grand Prix that showed up on the Midnight Channel. Use the sister complex kingpin and she is the spunky dragon. I believe it was Carnivore who's discarded womanhood. Yeah. Get your story straight, story. I wonder why they flip back and forth with that. Right? And I'm Captain Resentiment. 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 What a fantastic nickname. I just want to go... Oof myself. Oh, who the hell came up with this crap? What the heck is a P1 Grand Prix tour anyway? Don't tell me it's being held at school. You're fussing up to being part of it, huh? Well, listen up. You better cut this crap out quick. The student council didn't approve this. Huh? The student council? Come on! Don't tell me you don't remember who your student council president is! Student council president? With a prominent position like that, there's no way I wouldn't remember her! Hello, uh. boys and girls of Yasugami! The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin! Boys, is that Rise? She's here at school? They're even using the school PA system! How many times do I gotta repeat myself? This is your last warning! Stop this at once! Oh no, it's Miss Sourpuss! She's trying to stop our fun! Everyone, get her out of here! After Risa gives the order, all those students turn around to look at us. And then they rush straight at us. Jeez, not a single one of them gave a damn about their president up until now! Huh? Hey, you're kidding, right? Dude, Risa, do something about this! What are they trying to do to us? I'm not gonna start anything crazy here. But this probably isn't the time to start taking things easy either. At the very least, I should get this girl to safety. I turn towards her. Surprisingly, she's standing her ground in the face of all the students. She's defiantly staring back at them. I warned you all. The president tosses her megaphone aside and lightly taps one of the charging students, and he slams to the ground as if a truck had hit him. The other students soon met the same fate. It's like they didn't expect her to do anything. Before I know it, the student president is only the only one left standing. That's amazing. So much for that. Then how about this? When Risei speaks, the monitor above the girl's head starts swinging back and forth. You're joking, right? My body moves out of instinct. Ah, what are you? 
I yank her aside and shove her beneath me to protect her. Aww. I look up, and the giant monitor is right in front of my face. Oh, shit! Ah! Huh? Am I mm. dead? What was that you did? Yeah, I'm getting straight. Behind, not beneath? Oh. Well, I like what I said better. I slowly open my eyes to see someone I know very well standing before us. The other me. My persona, Jiraiya. The monitor was cut right in half, the two pieces lying on either side of us. I was able to summon my persona. Huh? Wait. Isn't this Yasugami High? You can only summon personas inside the... Hey, that's right! Oh, oh yeah! yeah! I finally remember everything! I jumped inside the TV with you and the others! Amnesia arc over. But wait! Then, who is this girl? What the heck is our school doing inside the TV world? I'm sitting there, confused, when Risei's voice chimes in from the PA system. You should have just died. What? You aren't worth anyone's effort. You just get in the way and cause trouble for people around you. Risei? That was definitely Risei's voice. So, I guess Risei's inside the TV too. But I'd never expect her to say anything that cruel. What's going on here? I won't let you destroy the school. You're in the announcement room, huh? Well, wait there. I'm coming for you. Hey, what are you going to do? The student president starts running towards the school building. Then she turns around and waves. Thanks. After all that glaring, this is the first time I've seen her smile. Wow, she's cute. After that, she runs off again like the wind. And she thanked me too. So I've got an in. No, no. Bad, 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 bad Yosuke. Yosuke, this bad, is no time to get bad. hot and bothered. Wait up. Hot and bothered. To go alone. <laughs> Take me. It was really impressive the way she was tossing those people left and right, but it's too dangerous to run around here without a persona. Besides, a world like this inside the TV means... But as I try to chase after her, the PA cuts into my train of thought. Sorry about that mishap! The first round's challenger is already here! I'm gonna play a thing real fast. Wham. My favorite crossover is Persona 4 XFLCA. Yeah? Where the crew jump into <gasps> Canty's head. <gasps> I'd love that, S uh, Spubby. Jumping into Canty's head, perfect. Thank you, Spubby. Watching the students, or the, the watching students are all looking this way. Wait, does she mean the challenger is? Huh? Okay, hold on one second. I gotta address something in chat. Yeah. Everyone's like, Yosuke gets crushes so easily. Uh, Yosuke is chaotic by, um, and listen. It's just because she looks like you, basically, a little bit. She kind of looks like, you know, silver hair, silver so hair. strong, so very strong. reliable. Yeah. He just sees you in her, I think. <laughs> I think that's Kit. it. <laughs> yeah. Kit. But first, the general has a few words for you all. <laughs> a nearby monitor turns on. Yes, Teddy's on it. This day has finally come! I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Teddy, you bastard! What are you doing? You disappeared and we- Bring out his opponents! Hey, listen to me! It's time. Smoke shoots out, enveloping everything. Wait, someone's stepping out of it. Chie. Yeah! Sorry, it's only me. Hey, what's going on here? Risa and Teddy both seem... Okay, wait. Uh... Oh. I wonder... Uh, I'm going to predict that, like, everyone who's mean to him, except for you, is going to hit him with the you're not you, basically. <gasps> like, that's going to oh. be the, the big dig the whole time. Oh, probably. Ugh. You're not you. Trash. Just walk away. Oh, I was hoping I'd get to fight you. You. 
Not you. You. Why are you, you yeah. looking at me like that? Why is she looking at him like that? Hungry? <laughs> she's acting weird. Okay, she's always been weird. But this is weird, even by Chie standards. Her eyes are glittering and she's... What the hell? Why is she licking her lips when she's staring at me? Hey, Yosuke, can I eat you? The cannibal who's discarded humanhood. Wow. Huh? Sure. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, yeah, I guess, whatever. It'd be better to fatten you up first. I'm not a fan of stringy cuts. Oh, God. Well, what I was are you wrong. Talking about? You. Kind of right. What are you saying? I, I mean, seriously. Wait a second. Maybe it's just a figure of speech for something more intimate. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no way she'd have the guts to say that right in front of everyone. As I panic, Chie strikes a kung fu pose and makes a forceful declaration. You want to hear the reason I eat meat? Because it's there! Huh. So that is what you mean. And why are you saying that like you're quoting someone? Yosuke, don't worry. It'll be painless. No, nah. -uh. There's no way it won't hurt. You'll continue to live inside me forever! Creepy. Yeah, in your stomach. Thanks for the food! Persona! She, she summoned her persona! <laughs> is she serious? Like, is she seriously gonna nom down on Yosuke Filet? What the hell? She has gone bye-bye. Damn it, I gotta fight. Man, the Juness uh, secret menu is pretty dark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need to fight for my life. There's no way I'm going to be her three-course mirror. Two-course at best. Three-course mirror. Three-and-a-half course <laughs> on a good day. Wow. I did not expect that to go that way. That's for sure. You're saving wrong. I'm saving correctly. No, you're not. No, he's not. Oh, if we lose, we get a gag ending. I'm not going to try to lose. I'm going to try to win. Only because I don't know what I'm doing and I want to win, you know? I'll lose on purpose later if we need to. Unless you want me to lose, do you think I should lose, Clay? No, no, do your best. It'll make it more satisfying when you lose on Jump Your Own Accord. What's... I don't know how to play fighting game. Oh my god. Oh no. Wow. It was so nice of you to throw for the ending scene. <laughs> I'm going to try my bet. This is not going well. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. This is part of my strategy. She just god hand you? What a cutie, though. Wow. So you press cancel, or is there no gag ending here? How does that work? Well, I think that... She's eating him! She's eating him! There doesn't seem to be a gag ending, does there? Uh, how do you get the gag ending? You changed it to hard? Oh, you changed it to hard! What? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Uh, I doubt it. Yes, you did! Probably not. You did! Oh, okay. You changed it to hard! What about it? That's why that was so freaking hard. There's no gag end? Oh. I don't know, try a rematch. See if you can do it. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna play some things. Persona! You thought it was a visual novel, but it's actually a Vorfic. <laughs> Hair across. I Thank just like you. how much fun they're having with Thank it. You. Thank it's you. It's very silly. It's very silly. The gag is a lie. Persona! Yosuke lost sight of female you. She wants to eat him, and there's still no sign of kanji. <laughs> right? Spike, no sign of kanji. You actually might have to do this only because I That's I don't. Cool. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I can try it. I can't remember the tutorial, but I can do it. Unless you wanted to give it another go. No, 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 no. Yes, gag end. Not like this. Chie has a gag ending. Oh, okay. I burped. I'm sorry. That's gross. Remember, Danny. High, low. High, high, low. Low, high. Low, low, high. Okay. Oh, 
Oh shit. Wow, that did so much damage! Right, the dragon! I actually don't know if any of Yosuke's moves I just got used to use. Well, a little used to it. Shit. You're at maximum SP! I know, I have no idea what to do with it though. Oh, Sukukaja. Oh, I'm not awakened, though. Am I? Yeah. I am awakened. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, during Sukukaja. Three people have gag endings. Yosuke's not one of them. Whirlwind! Okay. Thank you. Good to know. Do insta kill? <laughs> Very much a speed character. Makes sense. This is around where I would I would want the difficulty though. Personally, the normal was uh, kind of just a pushover. I'm a pushover, and I like pushover difficulties. Oh, poison! Cool! Oh, shit. Oh, you, you're you not wrong, Nintendo. Uh, we get more shit. gameplay this way. Oh, shit. Oh, what? I was totally attacking. Awakened! I don't know how I could have dodged that. Damn, I need to use my SP. I get so much of it. That's good. GA has counter. That's what that was. I saw it. It looked like the reflect from the game. That's cool. Hit him with an auto. I know. Yeah, hard mode is hard. She always does the kicks first. Shit! Jiraiya! Jiraiya! the dragon! Oh shit! These stages are really kind of cool. Very cool. We actually get to see them. Wow! I tried to grab her! I love oh, she's her. so cute! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, she was. She had me in the corner. Um, If you guys have any advice, just shout it out at me. I feel like this is the one where you can, like, really uh, let it go. Oh, I need, I need to figure out what the, what the triggers do. Oh god, she's coming right at me. Uh, button settings, uh, R1 is evade, L1 is the furious action. I have nothing- oh, actually, uh, oh, oh, record? What? Okay. That's weird, I don't want that. Yeah, like, why not have those on the- Oh, oopsies. Yeah, throw R2, that's usually how I do fighting games. That's so weird. Mm -hmm. All-out attack. Oh, my camera had to do the all-out attack. Like, I know how to do it, but... Fighter with combos? Okay. Uh, just bait her and moves and immediately counter. I guess that makes sense. Uh, dash spring. Oh, cool. Maybe I can get her panicked. Flying kunai? Oh, is that... Um... Oh, does he have a special dodge? That's cool. I think that's R1. And recording apparently is only for training mode. No, it's L1. Cost HP? Okay. In my delirious not awake state, I got really confused as to what the heck was going on. I thought Nyani went off script. I was like, WTF, man. 
Slowpoke! Yeah, she has so oh. much. I, I tried to dodge it. Oh! You're awake and you can do your insta kill. Down, 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 those two. I tried. I know. Oh, God. I lost all my SP. Wow, she blocked it. She blocked her insta kill? No, that was just Gardine. Oh. I, I lost the SP for it. Okay, one more. Gardine was cool, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need your persona. Was it broken? Oh, you had no persona card? card? Oh, oh, my persona is broken. Keep my distance? Yeah, I'm surprised at how fast you get the the down um, like status from running away. Mm. Oh, wow. She punched me in the nuts. Cute. She, she has a combo where she says every day is great at your Juness. Wow. Oh shit. I think you, you can do it. Oh no, I don't have a persona. Or I do, but. Oh! 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 That sucks. Oh, I could have done it! She gets so lucky! How did she dodge it? Ah, oh, how did she dodge it? Man, insta oh. kills are such a weird mechanic to me. She only says it when you're fighting Yosuke. That's that's awesome. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome flavor. You taunted <gasps> BM play. It's actually uh, his dodge. It does that. Oh, sound effects really don't last long. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, come on! You did it! The thing about playing on hard is you get a lot better. Like, I actually had to do things there. That was a lot of fun. I enjoy that a lot. Ugh. But, oh man, nothing gets my heart going like fighting games. We should have to get the heart reminder back for this. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, that's bullshit. Uh, Yosuke's dodge is so good, though. Like, all those times she just kind of, like, fell over. It's good. Uh, I had something else to say, but, yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Stop using the counter. Uh, oh, oh, I beat her. What the hell was with her? Accurate. Not even Shadow Chia was, Chie was that cracked up. What's the matter with Chie? Does she go bonkers when, stake, when her stake gauge reaches zero or something? <laughs> she groans and stirs from the ground. I wish she had a mechanic like that. The stake, the stake gauge. gauge. You had to keep full. Yeah. Or the try the dragon. No, oh, she's waking up. I hope she's not gonna start talking about eating me again. Ow! <laughs> I I hope you've learned your lesson and never even think about attacking your friends again. Aww. I quickly put some distance between us and yell from a ways away. I think my voice shook a little, but can you blame me? I was really scared. First you insult me, then you kick my ass. Oh, you moron. Insult you. Uh, what did I say? All I remember, uh, all I remember about was what, all I remember about what we said before the fight was her eyes. 
cold and sinister, like a tiger stalking her prey. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. You went on and on about how I'm a coward and a brat. Aww. When did I have time to say anything like that? You were about to eat me. What? Eat you? That had better not be a crude innuendo for anything. Oh, no. I exactly how it sounded. I was scared to death of you, stupid Chie. <laughs> what? You're stupid for calling me stupid, stupid Yosuke. They are like siblings. I yeah. love it. See, that's something a brat would say. There you go again. You're the brat for calling me that. This is going to go in circles forever. I <laughs> I'm going to play a thing. Isn't fighting what you want us to do? Fun fact. Unlike in the actual arena where everyone gets four Persona cards, Ultimax changes it depending on each character, ranging from two to six. I think that's really cool. I like that balancing. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. To me, at least. Adam, thank you! The monitor turns on. Teddy looks annoyed. Hey, we're the ones who should be annoyed with you! You're done! Jeez, what's up with this? Head over to the school building. Your next opponent's waiting. I'm not doing this anymore. You're obviously fine, so I'm going home. But you can't. Th I lost, so she can't even move from that spot. Huh? Ow! There's something here. She ignored Teddy and started walking away, but she suddenly sits down and clutches her head. Huh? No one gets to leave until the tournament's over. Only the one who fights to the bitter end and is crowned victor can earn freedom! Good luck! The can camera randomly zooms in on Teddy, giving us a thumbs up, and then the monitor turns off. Damn that, Teddy. You have to actually do stuff before you start with the fancy camera work. Stuff like, oh, I don't know. Explaining what the hell is going on here? While I'm staring at the monitor, I can hear Chie yelling in the background. What is she doing? Yeah. Uh. Chie's doing jump kicks, but every time she does, she stops in midair before she lands. What the? That's a neat trick. Is it like pulling punches, but in midair? Whatever it is, she's pretty good at it. She notices that I'm staring at her and turns toward me. There really is a wall. A wall? I try walking through the spot where Chie keeps getting stuck. Nothing. Chie looks surprised and tries to follow me, but... Wow. It looks like she really can't pass through. Is this what Teddy was talking about? Only the victor can go on or something. Since when could he do fun fancy stuff like this? And he said that nobody gets to leave until this tournament is over, huh? So we don't have a choice but to go along with this. Well, uh, guess I'll be going then. There were four of us who came in here, so at most I need to fight two more battles, right? Are you gonna fight Yukiko and Yukin then? Of course not. The only reason I fought you just now is because you attacked me first. If there has to be a winner and loser, I'll just forfeit as soon as the battle starts. Okay. If I find Teddy along the way, I'll deal with him, too. Can we pause for just one moment? Yeah. And appreciate that Yosuke only fought Chie because she was literally going to eat him. And Chie uh, fought Yosuke just because he called her a brat. It fits their personalities so well. <laughs> like, the severity in that is is quite... Yeah, like large. I literally would like to eat you. Yeah, you're a brat. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> it's it's over now. You're I'm dead, gonna friend. Kill you. <laughs> oh, good idea. In that case, don't be so harsh on your next opponent before the match, okay? Oh. You're the one who is doing that. I hope you don't start eating things off the floor when you get hungry. Oh God. Why hey. Why would I do that? I'll be waiting, so be careful. Aw. Chie's sudden meekness surprises me. She sees my shock and turns away. Ah, uh, she feels helpless. <laughs> it's like the one time you and I left her behind while we went into the TV. Mm. There was no guarantee that we'd make it back, but she still waited for us. 
When we finally returned, she was so relieved she started crying. The same thing's happening here. Cheer. I pinch her nose. Got a really small nose, you know that? What? Just get out of here already. I should. Oh. She boots me in the ass and I head over to the school building. She doesn't know how to, ha uh, how to handle being teased by a guy. Still, with the look on her face, there was nothing else I could do. I'll hurry up and finish this Grand Prix. I pick up my case, my pace, but I notice something. There are students peeking out of all the windows at me. No, they're not students. I take a closer look at them. They're something else taking the shape of students. I guess they popped into their true forms while we were fighting for some reason. They're like silhouettes. Are they shadows? But they don't really look like monsters. And I don't feel like they're actually hostile. I mean, they're not particularly doing anything either. They're just standing there. Are they just extras Teddy made for this drama of his? If they're not in any if they're not any danger, then I guess I don't really have to figure them out. Still, threat or not, they're still pretty damn creepy. And if there are things like shadows around here, this is definitely inside the TV. Damn it, I don't get this at all. I have doubts, but I keep on running. I think I missed a line and I'm sorry. That's it, Nanny. You crossed the line. I take a look around the halls as I enter the building. Yep, there it is. There's a monitor in front of the stairway that I don't remember being there before. This must be where the second round is going to be. I raise my voice. All right, is this the place? Bring out the next challenger. Ooh. Ready to throw down. As if in response, the monitor turns on and Teddy's, Teddy's stupid costume fades in. Hey, that's my line! Jeez, stop throwing me off like that. If you don't stop this prank soon, I'm going to make your next shift a living hell. Usually a threat like that would have Teddy begging for mercy, but he just hums a little tune as if nothing was the matter. What's with him? Not just Teddy, Reese's helping him out too. Eight. This will be a surprise for you? Wow. Oh my god. Sensei is coming back, so I thought I uh, I thought up this cool surprise party. Sorry, but I forgot to tell you, Star. That sounds like him. That sounds so like him. After we solved the case last year, the TV world turned into a safe place, so. I guess I could see that, but would Telly, t Telly, would Telly really make us fight? Bring up the next challenger! Man, Yosuke's story seems to be moving a bit faster. I like that. The smoke starts whooshing out again. Four of us jumped into the TV at Juness, so I'm betting it'll be you or Yukiko this time. Yukiko? But if this is a surprise party for you, then it should be... Oh, God. All right. Hey, Yukiko, I want to ask you something. Is this some kind of surprise party? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, uh, he's a good boy. You guys didn't tell me anything about... As I walk towards Yukiko, she suddenly holds up her fan. Oh, what's that stench? Huh? This is about to get rude. I thought there was a wet dog here. Huh? Does she mean me? I take a couple of whiffs of my shirt, but I can't notice anything odd. Did I get all sweaty from that fight with Chie? Still, being told right to my face that I stink really hurts. And to compare it to a wet dog. S sorry. Um, so, Yukiko-san, did you run into Teddy or Rise? They're calling this a Grand Prix and making us fight to see who the winner is. Apparently we can't leave until... You're talking too much. I have about as much interest in what you're saying as I do in Plankton. Yo, Plankton is oh. very interesting. Fine. 
I didn't need you anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna go find the Krabby Patty secret recipe. <laughs> the Amagi in secret recipe. Oh yeah. How do they stay? Oh, that's that's Mr. Krabs. How do uh, they stay in business for so many years? They keep yeah, having I babies. Mr. Krabs too. Babies. I'll make a thousand babies, Karen. Plankton. But you can't even see those without a microscope. Yukiko is acting strange. Even stranger than Chihei. Well, not crazy strange. She acts more like Yukiko than ever, but she'd never come out and say something that mean. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Yukiko, this isn't a welcome back surprise for you, is it? Hmm? No, it's a Grand Prix for you, Yosuke-kun. And given what a goddamn pain in the ass it's been so far, I can't wait till it's over. Oh, okay. Dude, what's with the language? Have even you gone nuts? What the hell, man? Wow, this is the exact opposite of how she normally acts. She really is a snow black. That makes sense, I guess. So, or wait, so if that's what the commercial called her, and the way Chie was acting. Oh, so that's why hers was carnivore. No, it was Spunky Dragon. Right, you just said it like four pages ago. That makes sense now. Those nicknames have some truth to them, then. But why? Because Teddy told them to act that way? They're not all crazy, are they? But the Grand Prix for me? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> now you're ignoring me? Oh. Even if this is all an act, it's still soul crushing. Hey, listen, we can't leave here until the Grand Prix ends. So let's just half ass this. If you don't mind going on to the next round, I'll forfeit without attacking you. Oh, though if we did it that way, you'd have to fight again. It'd be faster if I won and got my hands on Teddy. <laughs> get my hands on and Teddy. Get my hands on Teddy. I'd hate to make Yukiko go on ahead uh, and have to fight even more of us. That's probably not such a good idea. Hey, Yukiko, will you lose this round for me? Even though you've lost in the battle of life. Oh, shit! Stop! Oh, shit! I don't like oh! that! Oh! Coming out to personally attack me, how dare she? Yikes, this snow black is really bad for my fragile ego. Yukiko suddenly flops her fla fan open in one fluid motion. Flip. She smiles faintly, but her eyes aren't smiling. Wait, she's pissed at me? So what? Now snow black can't take a being called Snow Black? Why is my fan so large? Why, my dear? The better to shut up that filthy mouth of yours. That's the wrong fairy tale. <laughs> oh, fine. I'll end this as quick as I can, so bear with me for a bit. <laughs> bear with wow, me. Wow, things are starting to heat up. Let's get this battle started. Dang it, Risa, quit goading her on here. Yukiko is being nasty in a different way from the carnivore, but I've got to take her on. Looks like I really have to overcome the Amagi challenge if I want to get out of here. <laughs> the Amagi <laughs> challenge. Oh, uh, here. Unless you want to give a, have a go at it. <laughs> no. No? No, sure? I'm, I'm so bad at video games, man. I was expecting I could just button mash, but no, you've turned up to hard, and that's you where You said you'd beat me button mashing. <sighs> I say a lot of things that aren't true. That's true. Waffles for everybody. <laughs> Hooray. Persona. Yukiko uses a G-Line. It's super effective. Destra, thank you! Sick burns. L1's done. Finally. Oh, wow! Her sprite is so pretty. Her sprite's so good. Oh, wow, wow! <laughs> man, I really gotta get fans. I wanna do some fan action, man. Look at how cool Shit, she is. Is it me broken? Shit, I'm broken. Oh, I can't persona. <laughs> now you can. You're all good. Am I awoken? Yeah. Shit. I tried to do the thing. I don't think I had enough. Nice. 
94. So they'd all be 26 ish today. Finally. Right, DFM, I want some martial art fans so I can martial arts. If I had to cosplay anyone from this game, it would be Yukiko. Ah, shoot. Yeah, when your health turns yellow, you're awoken. Shoot. Oh my god, she has so much uh, so many ranged options. This is totally different from you're GA. Awoken. Oh, is it not R1? Which one is it? I don't know. Brave Blade. Uh, does it say how much I need? Oh, oh, match around point only. Not usable by shadows. Okay, down, down, down. Circle triangle. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Let's do this. That's pretty easy to input. I can't believe GA dodged it so many times. Oh! 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 And now he's tapping on her face! Oh! Damn. That we was rude. Protect good boys in this stream. This is a no bully zone. A little late for that. <laughs> Oops. Oops. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, big bro. 222 inputs suck. Oh, two, 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 down, down, down. Right, I forgot about the the fighter lingo with the D pad. Two, two, two. Yeah, I don't know fighter lingo. Uh, I think it's like, was it one, two, three? Green, no, red, purple, pink. Anyways, she came to her senses when I beat her. So, what about Yukiko? I'll be right, right back. I'm still scared out of my wits, but I try to talk to her. Yukiko, are you all right? Do I wait for him? He's the reaction part of the stream. But do I wait for him? Chat, tell me what to do. No. Up to me. Yes, wait, let's wait. Okay, we'll wait. Here we go. You know what that means. Where is, where did you go, buddy? There you are. Hey everybody, it's me, Image 3. It's been forever since I've seen you. I just want to let you know that you should love each other all the time. If your friends start calling you names, maybe they shouldn't be friends with you. If you guys beat each other up and they stop calling you names, that's just what boys do, apparently. Um. Oh wow, that was really fast. We could just carry it on. Chat said we should wait. Goodness, oh. you've gone back to your usual self, Yosuke-kun. Aww. What? Oh, are you back to normal too? Doesn't matter, Jackie. It works out uh, for everybody. Huh? But you just seem so eager to fight no matter how I tried to stop you. Aww. You said things like, I was taking the easy way out. I was sure that you just weren't in your right mind. Aww. You noticed that Tere and Risei-chan are acting strange too, right? I think maybe they're under the enemy's control. I'd love to play that line again because she said Tere. You've noticed that Tere and Risei-chan? Tere. That doesn't sound good. Crap. So this isn't an act. They're being mind controlled or something. That... That explains a lot, actually. Damn it. Some surprise party. Still... Teddy's controlling people? Or is Teddy being controlled by somebody else? Control? Who could make them act that weird? No ordinary person could pull that off. And why would they do it to start a stupid tournament like this? I think back to what Yukiko said before we fought. It's a grab B for you, Yosuke-kun. For me? Like hell it is. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not enjoying it. I'm not! In any case, I'm gonna go put an end to this Grand Prix. If it's just us four, there's only one more battle to go. Yukiko didn't know what was going on either, so I explained what I found out. Only the winner can move on, and nobody can leave until there's a champion. 
and that since I'd fought Chie and Yukiko, my next fight should be with you. And then that would be the end of it. Oh, and one more thing. There was a student council president. She wasn't in that intro movie that aired on the Midnight Channel, and she acts like she's against the uh, against this whole thing. So I don't think I'll end up having to fight her, but... But she doesn't know about personas, so I can't just let her run around loose. Oh, do you mean the girl with the ponytail? You met her? Mm-hmm. When I talked to her, she said she was going to the announcement room. I tried to stop her, but an invisible wall blocked my path. Oh yeah, that's right. She said she was going to the announcement room above the auditorium to stop Rise. Ugh, that's not good. If Risei's being controlled by somebody behind all of this... That girl's in danger. Really? Sorry, I gotta go. I'll end this as fast as I can and come back for you. Oh, okay. Be careful. And try to help out that girl. I'm sure you can do it, Yosuke-kun. Hmm. Got it. Yukiko's clear, strong voice gives me that extra push. This stupid tournament might look stupid, but if there's some third party behind this, it may be more serious than I'd first thought. Anyway, to the announcement room! Feats, don't fail me now! Where did I get above the auditorium? It's it's a Mean Girls reference. Feats. <clears throat> Damn it! It's supposed to be pretty easy to get to the announcement room, but thanks to all these stupid invisible walls, I have to take the scenic route. Finally, I finally managed to make it to the second floor. If I keep going straight, I'll get to the stairs and then I'll be right there. Ah, oh, Miss President! I found her! I can see her running up ahead, her long ponytail trailing out behind her. But there was another shape next to her. A round, familiar one. Over here! Over here! Teddy! Damn it, was I too late? I tried to catch up. But I ended up slamming into an invisible wall and falling to the ground. Ow. It felt like my butt cracked. It's supposed to be. <laughs> Come on! Don't pull me like that! Miss President, are you okay? Let go of his hand! That bear's not in his right mind! <laughs> I shout out, hoping that I can at least get my voice to reach her. But the two of them disappear through the emergency exit at the end of the hall. Wait a second! That dude's not a dude, he's a bear! <laughs> I knew it. She might be strong, but Miss President isn't a match for the persona toting Teddy. She has to be captured. He's definitely being controlled. Teddy's not the type of... <laughs> Teddy's not the type who would walk a girl home. Uh, I think. I mean, he wouldn't do anything if she didn't want him to. Or she wouldn't do... <laughs> Let me just start over and first by saying I'm sorry. I mean, he wouldn't do anything if she didn't want him to, at least. Where is he taking her? Is he up to something? Then it dawns on me. If that girl doesn't have a persona, how did she get in the TV world? In order to get into the TV, you either have to have the power to use personas or get someone who has the uh, who does to help you into the TV. And by help, I mean that person could force you inside of a TV, too. That's actually what was happening in the series of murders last year. Horrible thoughts start to race through my mind. Is that what's going on with the president? Is she just another victim? Victim. That word brings to mind someone else. Saki Senpai. I lost someone I liked in those murders. I couldn't save her, and she died. If Miss President was also forced into this world like Saki Senpai, then then Damn it, I'll save her. Teddy went through the emergency exit. If he went up the stairs, then the announcement room should be right there. As if my growing desperation wasn't enough, this stupid invisible wall only makes things worse. I managed to calm my racing heart and begin running to make my uh, way to the, uh, the announcement room. My brain just wants to say auditorium because of mean girls. I like the pace that uh, Yosuke's story is moving at, though. It feels much quicker than uh, Yu's. It does, doesn't it? While avoiding the walls, the next spot I, I managed to make it to was the music room. Damn it! I want to go up, not down! There was a familiar monitor hanging from the ceiling. So this is where the next fight's gonna be, huh? Hello! Looks 
like you're on a roll. Teddy, what did you do with Miss President? Oh, how nice of you to worry about someone else. You let your guard down in this battle. Come on, bring up the next challenger. Smoke begins blowing out as Teddy makes his announcements. A silhouette appears. I can tell who it is already. There's no way I could mistake that shape. It's so bright. Besides, by process of elimination, there's only one more person it could be. Elizabeth. Not a go! <laughs> Sorry, I should have. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no. I hope that he's just no. so desperately oh, Nanako. He's going to be the first word out of his mouth. Oh, that's the first thing he has to say? Ah, uh, I knew it would be you. And Sister Complex Kingpin, just like the others. Yep. Good old you, my partner. And his. Embarrassing nickname. Then again, Nanako-chan always was precious to you, so... Yosuke, it's true that this is a battle you have long desired. But I have something I want to say first. A battle I long desired? I thought that there would be no reason for us to fight. Until now! Huh? How dare you! Calling your Nanako-chan in that intimate way! <gasps> oh, 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 no! Uh-oh. Yes, sir! I'm sorry, sir! Oh, wait, can you hide the window? Okay, that's fine. He looks ready to kill me as I, I bow as deep as I can, just so I don't have to see his bloodshot eyes! Oh, God, it's horrible! <laughs> if only I had a camera so I could show him this later! I'm getting Nanako-san for the moment. It seems like there's someone here besides us. She can't use a persona, so I thought maybe she was dropped in here. Uh, you? He looks like he's from Ace Attorney. Yeah. Hugh's eyes turn dead, and he raises his sword. Why would you forget Nanako? That's ridiculous. I mean, come on. Nanako-san really likes you, no matter what. She's always telling me how you're such a nice big brother and how you're so cool. I just want him to calm down so that we can talk. Maybe if I avoid talking about Nanako, I can steer this conversation in some other direction. Yosuke, enough. You always talk to Nanako? Why? Where? What do you mean by always? What was the precise date and time when you spoke to her? Uh, uh, <laughs> e oh, crap, I was lying. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. You were lying? Are you saying that Nanako doesn't like me? That she doesn't think I'm nice or cool at all? Oh. <laughs> Why are you so hung up on that? Uh, for heaven's sake, I'm getting really sick of this crap. So let's just fight. Ding, we'll ding. Over with, okay? And then we can both calm down and talk like rational people. I'm not going to hold back at all. I know you can take it. Anyway, here goes. Wow. Okay, fanfics write themselves. <laughs> yeah. If he's not gonna listen, then I've got no choice. I'll get him to fight me and bring him back to his senses. It's a better use of my time than trying to talk him down anyway. Uh -uh. Sorry, Nanako-chan. Ha <laughs> ha! That Nanako-chan! What a dummy, right? Uh-oh. That's it! Uh-oh. forfeit! Uh-oh. Alright, just as planned! I'll fix you up, partner! Aww. But damn, his eyes are scary. Oh boy, that's scary. Nanako! <laughs> what a catchphrase. Yeah, there's a lot less uh, nurse talk than I was anticipating. I was expecting so many nurses. Yeah, right? Stolen from YouTube, Yosuke forgets to check his Nanako privilege. Whirlwind! Whirlwind! Thank you! Broke my persona just as I was trying to do it. Oh, 
I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. No, you're okay. You're not okay. Never mind. Shit. I could not dodge that. No. I tried to. That's the name of the scene? Wait, there's a name of the scene? I didn't see it. <laughs> you shouldn't have said Nanako. In his presence, never. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. I love kunai as a weapon, too. Like, man. I just want to be martial arts. Wow! Oh, I tried to do it. <laughs> Yosuke's death pose is so good. I can get him. Don't worry. I'll just cheese it with an insta kill. Jolly much practice being a siscom from his time as Lelouch. Oh god. Yes, Yuri also played Suzaku, so this is Lelouch's revenge in another universe. Wow. John! I'd let Thank him have you. that, right? Oh, triangle attacks aren't good on uh, Yosuke, Plague says. Wow! Insta kill available. Got him! It's so cheesy. It's so cheesy. It's so cheesy. But it's so good. Get stratagemed, boy. Now tap on his face. Yep. Yep. I eat pants, I step on you, and then I do a, a little, little dance. Because I said Nanako. Damn, he's kicking my Nanako. ass, though. How dare you say her name? You took her, didn't you? Persona, I had to lol. <laughs> Fire woman! <laughs> oh, that was tough. Thank you. How dare you stood where... She stood. <sighs> this would be one of the fights I would fear the most as Yosuke. Mm -hmm. Trilight. Yeah. Gotta beat up your gay oh, feels yeah. for your best friend so you can get this Grand Prix to a nice and tidy end. Bam. Thank you, Trilight. Scary. The battle is over. Yu looks up. It's his everyday composed face. He looks like he's back to his good old self. Yosuke, are you back to your usual self? <laughs> that's my line, damn it. Oh, wait, that's right. Did I seem strange to you? You know, Yukiko said the same thing. I don't think I have auto combos turned on. Oh, wait, so did Chie. Hmm. Hmm, something's not right. Carnivore Chie. Snow Black Yukiko. Sister Complex Kingpin Yu. I was wondering who'd be powerful enough to brainwash all three of them into acting all weird. But is that what's really going on? None of them remember what they said to me before our matches. Hell. They seem to think that I'm the one acting all weird. So maybe it's not the case that they're being controlled. What if I was the one being tricked here? Whoa. And that means I'm the one who needs to wake up. And then Vincent woke up. I hurriedly started rubbing my eyes. Maybe I'm still being fooled. I know I'm acting crazy. You opens his mouth to say something. You said that it wasn't your partner, so that was a surprise. Aww. I'd ever say that. Yeah. Oh, good. He's relieved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. He likes oh, good. me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it doesn't show on his face, but I can tell. I guess we're okay now. The Yu Narukami I know is the one sitting right in front of me. 
So I told you about what has happened so far. Most importantly, the victim. That is, the student council president that Teddy Kidd kidnapped. I see. And the reason the Midnight Channel seemed so clear was because that girl was already in this world? Oh, you're right. I forgot how that worked. He's right. There are two ways that the Midnight Channel appears. When the subject isn't in the TV world yet, the video is all fuzzy and hard to see. But if it's clear, that means someone's been thrown inside. Looks like our fears were real. There was a victim already. The question is, who put her in here? Well, I don't know. But whoever came up with this is trying to make us fight each other in the Grand Prix. Maybe they're hoping we'll take each other out since they'd be no match for four Persona users at once. Even as I say it, I start to really believe that it's true. Whenever I talk with you, it's like my brain just clicks right into place. No, it's not just the four of us. Kanji and Naoto are probably in this too. You saw them on the video, right? If our enemy is hosting this, they've probably been forced to participate as well. Naoto's was something with an IQ of 2,000. Sounds strong. I can't wait for it. Kanji's was... Beefcake. Um... Beefcake Emperor? No way! I don't want to run into him! You... Could you go on for me? I'm begging you! I don't want to consult my teenage gay feelings that are pretty normal for teenagers to have when they're questioning their sexuality. I don't want to... I don't want to see that. I don't... I don't want to be faced with that. You've begged me a number of times already. Can't only the winner move on. Damn it! He's ecstatic! Inside his heart, he's celebrating, clenching his fists. I know it. There shouldn't be a problem if you win. But if you lose against the Beefcake Emperor, you <laughs> might be in some trouble. No! I don't want to be alone with him! <laughs> Damn it! Fine, I'll go. <laughs> this must be what they mean by you have to cover your ass for the worst. <laughs> That's offensive. <laughs> Everybody have gay panic! Everybody have gay panic! Yay, happy pride! The 90s! Woo! Oh, no. Woo oh no. I don't think that's I don't think that's what they mean. What do you mean? That's exactly what this means. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's I don't think that's what the how the saying is supposed to be used. No, that's not how it's supposed to mean. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't hate Yosuke. Because, mm -mm. like, being real, oh my God. it's just part of his journey. You'll Man. Be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. You mean me or my ass? <laughs> just part of his journey. No, I mean about saving that girl. You can definitely do this. It's in your hands now. Sorry, I say the 90s is just, like, a common thing. I should probably... It's yeah. the 1950s. Yes, no. Sorry for talking about my ass so much. I mean, you weren't doing it, so I figured I might as well. No. Hey, wait! I mean, I was just a little shocked to hear that from him. Up until now, he's always been the one leading the pack, followed up by me. And now, you're the one telling me he's relying on me to get things done. He's trusting me. <laughs> uh, sister complex or no, he's still my friend. Just leave the rest to me, big bro. Uh, I don't think I'm comfortable having you call me that. Hey, I'm not saying that you're my big bro. It's just we were going on and on about Nanako-chan a moment ago, so... Oh, yeah, that wasn't you. I try to cover my embarrassment by telling a joke. But it didn't seem was to help. Yosuke just trying to become used Nanako? He was just like... Was trying he trying to, to be like... He was just trying to be like Nanako-esque to be like, haha, ha, ha, buddy. Big bro. Big bro. He's all over the place. He's drunk. <laughs> he's nervous because his best friend is there and he's just trying to lighten the mood. Oh, now I'm even more embarrassed. Anyway, leave this to me. I'll be going now. Kanji's too good for Yosuke anyway. It's true. 
I try to leave on a high note by acting in high spirits. So I wave to you and dash out of the music room. And then I cry. I cry for a good solid 50 minutes. He could probably hear me because I'm right outside the door. I open the door and I say, Oh, that that wasn't me. Through tears stained face. That, that was somebody else crying. And then I left. The fact he's only had one gay panic moment is impressive, for Yosuke. He's usually had 20 by now. Are we sure? <laughs> Boo hoo! How many internal panics has he had in like consecutive? <laughs> we uh, like we can see his internalness, which I think is cool. But is there an internal, a sub subtext? It's toxic. <laughs> Every time I think I'm getting close to the announcement room, I hit another wall and I have to take a detour. What about the nurses? <laughs> Hey man, you can you can be bisexual. You can be all sexual. Never floats your boat. Right? You might not even have a boat. You might have a plane. Or a train. I finally make it to the third floor though. And there's another wall. Right next to a door to a classroom. More or less an invitation to go inside, right? And to judge from my past experiences, I'm in for another battle. Who's my next opponent? The Emperor? His Imperial Highness? No use dreading it. Ah, Rasante, I mean, Yosuke kun. Miss President! I was expecting Kanji, but our student president and Teddy are waiting for me inside. Oh. It looks like I caught up with them. There's a ton of stuff I need to get straight. I start off by throwing Teddy a single question. Hey, Teddy, what do you love most? A passionate battle with one's life at risk, of course. Okay. There we have it. Yeah, that's not Teddy. The real woman would have said, Oh, the fly honey bears, or something. All right, then, let's fight. I'll try not to make it hurt too much, but you gotta go down. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Looks like you're enjoying the Grand Prix, Yosuke, just like I hoped. I held this Grand Prix just for you, after all. I'm glad you like it, Yosuke. People have been saying that from the start, and it doesn't make any sense. It's only in this world that you can be serious about anything. The idea excite you? Wasn't this the first thing you thought when the Midnight Channel came on? Another problem that'll help me change. Oh. That wasn't... I can't that let, let that get to me. Teddy's being controlled. Those are the words of whoever is making us fight. But as he continues speaking, it's like he's reading my mind. But as he continues speaking, it's like he's reading my mind, <laughs> is what you were thinking. There is no enemy. You know that, don't you? That case is over and done with. The days where you could be special are all gone. You lost everything, and you've gone back to your boring, mediocre self again. Since you were having a hard time accepting that, I whipped up this Grand Prix. I'm on your side, Yosuke. That's why I'm hosting this for you. There is no enemy. But what Teddy says goes along with something else. You said it. Yukiko said it. This Grand Prix was for me. Don't tell me this whole thing is to fulfill my wishes? I mean, I know that Teddy and Risei's personas are special in that they can, they can connect people's minds and stuff. And Risei can do a lot of other stuff too. Is it possible for her to make people hear things that nobody's saying when they're talking? And did she use that power to set up this Grand Prix for me? Deep in my heart, did I really want this to happen? That's not true. You were so cool, Yosuke. You were stronger than Chie-chan, or Yuki-chan, or even Sensei. You're almost the champion. Don't worry, I'll let you win this one. You're lying. What's wrong? Both of you are acting weird. I've forgotten about her for a minute. 
Hey, yeah, what about her? She has nothing to do with this. I've never, never met her up until now. I prepared that girl as a heroine for you. <laughs> Let's face it, there's no way you'd get fired up enough to win if there wasn't a pretty girl waiting at the end. Prepared? Yosuke-kun? What the hell does he mean, prepared? She's just a normal girl. No way. Teddy didn't push her in here, did he? He didn't get her caught up in all this so that I can win the championship and save the dame, did he? It was way too much for me. I stood there with my mouth gaping wide open, unable to utter a word. No goddamn way. What the hell? I never asked for any of this. How could I want any of this to happen? That preview on the Midnight Channel was pretty good, huh? It's no surprise since you came up with it. Damn. My body suddenly froze. He's getting all in his head right now. That's right. I felt it when I saw that ad on the TV, didn't I? That it was... beginning. That something I've been waiting for, something that would change me, has come again. No! That's not true! I try to clear that thought out of my head by shouting, but now that suspicion has snuck in my, its way into my mind, I know that it's stuck for good. Do I really hate this crazy situation? Can I honestly say that I'm not enjoying it? No, that's not it! Shut up, you're... You're being controlled! I'll help you come to your senses. Whoo! Damn! The gay is off the charts, Mabel. <laughs> Wild card! I can't think straight! Use Bud. Oh my god! Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, look at Teddy. The beast in oh, heat. Oh, whoa, hey. Oh my god, Teddy. I'm just wondering what Miss President oh, is hearing during all of this. Gestrin, right, Gestrin? What's. What oh, is she hearing? No way. Teddy is as wild and erratic as I would have hoped. Right? It's amazing. Shit. You're awake. His persona it's is time so for cheese. You're fucked. Uh, 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 oh, his face. <laughs> With the cheese. With the cheese, and you win instantly. Yeah. Oh my god. And you tap on their face when you win. Cause it's not a game. You just press down three times, circle, triangle. Nice job. Thanks, man. Teddy, Miss President, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. But what was that all about? Aren't you two friends? Yeah, something like that. I can't bear the look she's giving me. Not confused, but not judging. So I turn away. Did I really want to beat up my friends? I don't want to believe it. First, I need to ask Teddy here what his real intentions are. Whatever I may have secretly wanted, that's no reason to push an innocent girl into the TV world. Heck, did Teddy really do that? I bite my lip, lip and wake Teddy up. Sorry, Teddy. Let's go back. This Grand Prix's over. Huh? It's over? It ended while everyone was making fun of me? Oh. Making fun of you? What? You were the host. You had on these weird clothes. That wasn't the real me. Yosuke, even you thought that was me? Oh. <laughs> sleep in the same futon every night yet you couldn't tell a beast like that apart from me <laughs> we don't sleep in the same futon wait does that mean it's someone else doing this <laughs> teddy's like as far as you know <laughs> i wasn't too sure of him either when i first came across him i mean what are the odds there'd be two with someone that crazy looking <laughs> right i keep telling 
you. Can't you tell just by looking at me? I'm much more adorable than that jerk. Check out the fur. <laughs> and the Ted with the fur. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to break it to him, but I honestly can't tell the difference. Wait, back up, huh? The teddy on the monitor is a fake? I calm Teddy down and get him to explain things to me. It seems that the general is some copy of Teddy and the TV world was like this when Teddy got here. What the, the hell? hell? There's no enemy my ass. Oh, yes, there is. Anyway... The reason he's with the president isn't because he'd been captured or he captured her. It's because she thought he was the bad guy and was chasing after him. But when she caught up with him, Teddy had begun thinking of himself as her knight in shining armor. So he was going along or going with her to the announcement room. Way to confuse me. I've been doing my best to get myself unframed. Aww. You should have seen what a manly knight I was when I defeated Kanji along the way. Oh. So Kanji's out of the bracket. Oh. I, I mean, if you're not the host here, then who set this up for me? You're saying this Grand Prix is for you? Uh, about that, um... I try to figure out some way to explain, but some familiar feeling, like a ringing in my ears, knocks the thoughts away. I mean, not in my ears, it's in my head, but it's, it's not a sound. It's weak at first. But I know it's getting stronger. It's... Risky senpai is Teddy with you too? Ah. Uh, Risa! I can hear Risa, but not over the school's PA system. For her to be talking directly into my head like this, she has to be using her persona. And maybe it's just me, but she sounds like she's been crying recently. Or is about to start soon. Aww. So glad. Ever since this weird fake Teddy kidnapped me, I've been all alone. The others are fighting each other, too. Oh, oh, I'm here, too. And so is Miss President. Miss President? Oh, you're right. I do sense one more presence there. Who are you guys talking to? <laughs> Sorry, I'll explain in a sec. Hey, Risa, are you okay? The one who's been talking over the PA isn't really you, right? Of course not. I'm not that big of a ditz. <laughs> I'm in the announcement room now. General Teddy was watching me, but he left, so I'm using this chance to contact you guys. Hey, don't do anything reckless, okay? But I can't just sit here and do nothing. Not while you're all being forced to fight. She sounds all indignant now, but considering how weak she sounded at the beginning, I know she's just forcing herself to act angry. She must have been scared all by herself. Well, duh. Unlike us, she didn't know if there was, if, uh, there was ever going to be anyone else coming to help her. I awkwardly recap what I know for her. This Grand Prix might be related to me. Actually, it might all be my fault. Huh? huh? What? What? What the? I don't know really who or what that fake Teddy is. But if it's doing this for me... A lot of things start to make sense. If Teddy isn't the one managing this tournament, then that makes all the stuff he said before the fight a lie. But, lie or not, it did make sense. I mean, even if Teddy isn't the bad guy here, this Grand Prix is being held for my benefit. I mean, that's pretty much settled. <sighs> I think I have a good idea who... The poor sucker is. Do you think maybe that fake Teddy didn't leave the room, but actually just disappeared? Huh? Give me a Give second. Me a second. I'll, search, I'll for search for him. Reese's transmission stops for a second. If my guess is right, then there's a big chance he's already gone. Come on, let it not be there anymore. Reese came back online. Shadow! That fake Teddy's actually a big shadow! He hasn't disappeared? Wow, the size of this one! I think it might be the shadow of someone who entered the TV. But why is it mimicking Teddy? That's what I can't... Hmm? What's up? Uh, the person next to you, Senpai. Is that Miss President? Something strange about the reading I'm getting off of her. Oh, is it because she's not a Persona user? No, that's not it. I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> Sorry, something's coming! I gotta cut off this chat now! 
That's fine. Just don't do anything reckless. I'll try to get to the announcement room as fast as I can. I'll be waiting for you. If the enemy's still around, it's not a good idea if he finds out that Risei can use her persona to contact us. I make sure Risei is actually disconnected before I turn back to Teddy. Teddy, wait here. Look after Miss President for me. Gotcha! I'm always up for spending time with a pretty girl like her. He's such a... Sp that's not a, a, a correct word anymore. Yeah. Um, this is not the time to be fawning over cute girls, even ones as hot as Miss President. There's a bad guy out there trying to destroy our friendships. Maybe he, maybe he can be so easygoing about this because he truly believes that nothing could drive a wedge between us. Blah, whatever. Whether it's true or not, he did take down Kanji. I can trust him to look after the president. Anyway, now that Risei's checked, there's one thing that I'm certain of. The true identity of General Teddy. I'm sure he's my shadow. I mean, he's the only one who would bother setting up this Grand Prix just for me. I don't know why he's come back, but maybe I've lost my resolve or something. <clears throat> yeah, it's bad enough that they recalled uh, Mario Party 8 for it. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you, I'm you just. Can, you can Google it. If yeah. You want to know more about it. I'm not gonna discuss it here too much. I just, yeah, I want to be inclusive for everybody. Um, I was hoping that he would just disappear once I figured out what was happening, but I guess things aren't going to be that easy. Jeez, the thought of Teddy being the culprit was pretty hard to swallow, but this is even worse. I mean, this is completely my fault. Ah, oh, looks like I'm just gonna have to pay my shadow another visit. But just as I made up my mind and try to leave the classroom, Miss President blocks my path. It, Wait, what's going on? It I demand uh, an explanation. I'm not going to discuss any further. It doesn't matter if it's only bad in England or the UK. That's not the point at all. We're, a global, just, we're a global audience, man. And there's lots of people from England and And UK. I love it's everybody. Just, and I'd rather it's just, just not. Easier to not, you know? Like, <laughs> like, it's, like it's irrelevant. It, if you're ever unsure, it's just easier to not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so again, I, I don't want to... Uh, discuss it in chat anymore it, you'll be um just timed out if you continue to discuss it just google it do your own research and come to your own conclusions i'm not gonna tell you what to think yeah but we're gonna do what we want to do and the, the main thing is i don't feel comfortable saying it so i'm not gonna yeah <laughs> we don't need other examples in chat either so please don't do that <laughs> and on to the story there's no time for that sorry but you can ask teddy about it i heard you say just a moment ago that this grand prix is for you in which case, I gotta ask you, as student council president, if you're going to the announcement room, you gotta let me come too. You can explain things to me once we're there. You can't come with me. It's too dangerous. I'm just gonna lay it on the line for you here. That power you saw when we fought is called a persona. And this is no normal tournament. I'll be fine. I'm plenty strong, you know. But you can't use a persona. And this isn't a normal school either. I explain this. I have to use the restroom so bad. I thought I could make it. I can't make okay, it. Go for it. Here you go. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be back soon. I'm the one that said I'm going to the announcement room first. Don't be a copycat. <laughs> That's not your problem, miss. I'm all ready to give her a verbal smackdown, but the look on her face is so serious that I have to pause. She eventually begins to speak with embarrassment. What she said over the PA bothered me. All that about how I get in the way. As student council president, I gotta have a talk with her about this. Oh, <laughs> she's so sweet. Does she mean the PA we heard when we first met her? You aren't worth anyone's effort. You just get in the way and cause trouble for the people around you. Get to you. It was just a stunt to make the Grand Prix exciting. Wait, huh? If this Grand Prix is all for me and she just got caught up in it, what's the point in belittling her like that? Of course that? it bothers me. I like this school. Yeah, I like her voice a lot. It was a bit like, whoa, at first, but now it's good. She whimpers slightly. Dude, she's like a different person from the confident girl I met before. Ugh, fine. I guess it can't be helped. I am to blame for all this happening to her, 
but I can't just admit it like that. So I smile jokingly and hold out my hand. How about going on a date with me? A romantic getaway in the announcement room. Okay, that's actually pretty smooth. I like that. Yosuke-kun. All right. You're on. Oh, that's so sweet. Whoa. Even if she's only going along with the joke, I asked her out and she said yes. Awesome. Wait, what about me? I want to go on a date too. You can't leave me out. <laughs> I hope he's like, okay, Teddy, let's go along and then just bonk. Oh, sorry. You lost, so you can't leave. No, don't tell don't him. Don't worry, though. We'll be back soon. Oh, fine. No! The date slipped through my claws. <laughs> <laughs> Miss President, Yosuke is a nice, dependable guy. Not as much as me, though. Aw, thanks for looking after me this far. I'm glad to find out you're not the culprit. Aw. Be a good bear, okay? Miss President and I leave the classroom together. Yosuke uh, stole Teddy's girl. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Am I gonna play this? No, I guess I'm so. gonna play this. Funny you talk about us, Yosuke, because there is this dude in which you in it and. You put on some nice pants and your butt looked great. That was the end. That was the end, Gabriel. That was the end. Teddy desperately tries to follow, but the invisible walls stop him cold. He keeps charging at the wall, but every time he does, he just bounces off like a tennis ball being tossed against a glass window. When he finally gives up, he waves his stubby little arms in despair. Miss President, and don't try anything funny with her. Shut up! I'm not you. <laughs> that Teddy. Well, that's just how he is. Man, I kind of want to smack him, but I'm smiling all the same. The invisible walls block the way as usual. I'm starting to feel really anxious, but I can't let it show. I know that it would make Miss President here worry. Oh no, we're, we're not going to take a break after this game. We're going right back, uh, right back to Persona 5 Royal after mm -hmm. this game. We're making progress, slowly but surely. I have to keep trusting that we'll get there. I really like this school. Hmm. That was unexpected. Well, I'm not surprised, since you ran for student council president. Good job winning that, by the way. Oh yeah, what's your name? My name? I mean, I can't uh -oh. call you Miss President forever, right? I guess your name was on the posters around school during elections, but I tend to ignore those. No offense. She claimed uh, she clams up, so I try to get her to open up a little more. But what she says next takes me by surprise. My name? I, I don't know. Huh? I can't remember it at all. I've been trying all this time, but... I can't even remember what I was doing before now. Same goes for my name. I completely forgot that I must have a real name too. Until you asked me about it. That ain't normal, is it? I wonder why that's happening to me. Uh, it's probably because you've been in here for a long time. You've seen a bunch of other weird things in here, right? Well, now that I think about it, the victims who were dropped into this world had scrambled memories with bits and chunks missing. So it's definitely possible that she can't remember her name. Oh. You mean like those persona and shadow things? What are those? She seems really upset about this. And I bet that's only putting more pressure on her. She's seen a lot. Maybe an explanation would calm her down a little. I decide to answer every question she has, one at a time. Well... A shadow is another side of you. It's what you're not conscious of, or more like the feelings you didn't want to admit you had. Everyone has a side like that, an ugly part of themselves, and most people hate to admit it exists. But if you accept it, it becomes a persona, a power that can protect you. Hmm. 
So you have to accept yourself. I went through that once. But it seems like my shadow's back. Well, I'll just have to accept it again. <laughs> I sure hope that's all I have to do. Of course, I can't say that part out loud. I talked like I was confident, but in reality, I'm really nervous. How can I be smiling when I'm so worried? It's crazy, right? I look at her to try to gauge how she's feeling. It sounds rough. You think since I can't remember anything, the same's happening to me? Don't worry, I'm sure you're just in a little bit of shock right now. Oh, great. Now I've got her all nervous too. Trying to cheer her up. Uh, trying to cheer her up. I try to play the good parts. You remember play up the good the parts. Council president, right? I'm sure you just need a little help to remember everything else. You think so? <laughs> You've been a real big help, Yosuke Kun. Huh? Me? Did I do something? Mm hmm. You sure have. She finally smiles. It's only a little one, but it's there. Huh? Is this really the first time I've seen her smile? Ah, oh, damn. She is really cute. <laughs> I start to get embarrassed about having faked, uh, faked, I start to get embarrassed about having faked asking her out on a date and my feet sped up. No, it was, it was smooth. It was smooth. Crap. Now I'm literally <laughs> running away from her. Talk about chicken hearted. <laughs> Why are you running away? Is it Teddy Zero? I bet it's Teddy. Finally, and I do mean finally, <laughs> we stand in front of the announcement room. Miss President and I exchange glances. Then I summon up all my courage and throw the door open. I'm expecting to see the fake Teddy, or should I say, my shadow in the room. What? Reese's the only one in here. Yosuke Senpai. Are you alright? Where's the shadow? You mean the fake Teddy? He hasn't come back at all. I sense this weird presence, but I don't know what it is. Frise looks around nervously. I look around too. I haven't been in the announcement room that often, but I can tell that this isn't anything like the real one. The room is huge, with monitors everywhere. Not to mention the giant window taking up an entire wall with a crazy view outside. Yeah, this is crazy town, all right. <laughs> but what's this weird presence that Rise is talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you freaking out about? This is your chance to save a pretty girl and become a hero, right, Yosuke? Huh? Oh, damn, nice you. That's Yosuke Kun's voice. I was memeing, yeah, Maddie. I slowly turn in the voice's direction. There was no one there a second ago, but now suddenly there is, and he has my face. His inhuman gold eyes narrow in a taunting way. <laughs> Looks like I was right. Hey there, Yosuke. Yosuke Senpai's shadow? Man, this isn't getting any easier. But at least I can confront him without freaking out like I did last year. I thought you merged back with me. I'll come, come out anytime, anytime you start ignoring me. I'm always watching you. I am you, after all. This is a shadow? Yeah, that's right. You're me. You're the weakness in my heart. I admit it. Now get back here. <laughs> now come over here for a big hug, buddy. I blurted out before I have the time to get, a se to get second thoughts. This should do it. Then the shadow just starts laughing instead. <laughs> Not bad, but that's exactly what I mean by ignoring. You haven't changed at all since then. You just cover up whatever you don't want to see and paper over it. That's why I've returned. I'm not your persona anymore. Don't tell me. Hold on a sec. Does that mean... Forget logic. It's faster to just try it. My nervous voice fills the announcement room. And that's it. My persona, Jiraiya, doesn't appear. Instead, 
The shadow begins laughing even harder. No way. So you really are. To be honest, I was still doubtful. I had hoped that he wasn't my shadow. I mean, of course I didn't want to believe this Grand Prix is for me and that I was having fun. My shadow's right. All I was doing was ignoring the problem. My fists clenched, my knees locked, my entire body shakes. Is this because I was weak? Is that why everyone got dragged into it? Yep. Because I wanted a crisis to solve again. Because the case ended and I was bored? You, you got, got it. it. I'm, I'm sure, sure you understand, understand without me having to tell you. I couldn't save Saki-senpai. I didn't want to ever lose someone again. But I still wished for this. I was proud that Inaba was peaceful. And I thought that I could finally be proud of putting Saki-senpai's death behind me. And yet, was I really faking all of that? In the end, am I just a loser who puts his own boredom over the death of a loved one? Senpai... I could hear the quivering in Risei's voice. No, this isn't true. Don't look at me. This... this isn't me! It was all your desire. Trust me, I know. I am you, after all. I could feel myself ready to fall on my knees. I can't use my persona anymore. I thought I had changed. But now, I've literally lost everything. You're... I have to accept it. My mind knew what to do, but my heart still raged against it. Even before I knew what I was saying, the words were flying from my mouth. You're not... Oh, Senpai, look at me! Oh, shit! <laughs> Get him! I lift my eyes to look at Risei. There she was, with Miss President standing next to her. It was tough, seeing the looks on their faces. I look away quickly, but Risei scolds me. No matter what weaknesses you might have, we'll never stop liking you. So please, don't deny who you are. Aww. Why'd you have to get in the way? Here, I finally got in touch with the others. Listen to them. Risei closes her eyes and folds her hands as if in prayer. I see the elegant shape of her persona appear behind her. At that instant, voices pour into my head. These are... You moron! What are you saying? What do you think we are? <laughs> Yosuke-kun, we heard everything. But there's nothing for you to be afraid of. I don't really get what's going on. It's gonna keep showing up. You just gotta beat the crap out of it every time. We're all with you, Yosuke. You can rely on me too, you know. Anyone can fall prey to oh. the same troubles and insecurities. It's not just you, Senpai. It's true for all of us. 2000 IQ. Everyone. My vision, vision suddenly clears. I didn't even realize that I was squeezing my eyes shut. Naoto? How come you're here? That's, that's, well... Who cares, guys? There's more stuff at stake here! <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> after Chie, er, and after Chie, the clearest voice of all. You won the battle against yourself back then, but you can't do it this time? Yosuke, believe in us. When I hear my partner's voice, I draw a ragged breath. I take deep breaths, not noticing until now just how much I had tensed up in the last few moments. Rise, the bringer of these voices, turns to me. From the smile on her face, I know that she expects me to feel better now. And even though she asks, uh, has to be scared right now, she cares enough to smile for me when I'm feeling down. I... That's right. I finally realized the simplest truth. The biggest difference between the person I was last year and the person I am now. Now I have friends that accept me, even when I doubt myself. I... How could I not believe in myself? How could I be too weak to stand up? They're all believing in me. I'm not alone. Not anymore. I'm such an idiot, aren't I? <laughs> Day, moron. I raise my head and I look straight at my shadow. 
Any trace of fear I had is completely gone. I thought I overcame my weakness and I was done with it for good. Dude, how naive was that, right? What? I'm weak. I'll probably always be weak. But that doesn't mean I need to run away. I'll keep fighting my weakness. And I'll do it as many times as it takes, even if that never stops. <clears throat> my heart was calm. I was conflicted just a moment ago, but now everything has been made clear. They believe in me. And knowing that, I feel their faith in me pushing me forward. I can feel the power surging in me. The force filling my spirit causes me to shout out. Come, Persona! Ooh. Oh, no! Yeah, is it another scene? I don't know. Save it and let's just see. Persona. Well, that's one way to subvert expectations. Right, yeah. Gastrid? Dang. <laughs> Disco Frog is back. Do we go? Yeah, let's just see. Okay. Oh. It's fight. It's fight. Okay. Because if we fight, we're going to go into the cutscene, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. We have to finish it tomorrow. Are you? Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ow. I think it might act like, I wonder, because I heard that the shadows were added in um, Ultimax. So I wonder if this is just like a recolor. Damn. Yeah. That's so cool, though. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Auto mode. You're literally at the end. Just finish it. Do you think we have got like, it's. Because last time someone said five minutes, it was seven hours later. No, I, I, I think it's going to be a solid half an hour. You think? Well, between the fight and the thing and the reading, yeah, probably. Okay. So okay. I doubt it's going to be the fight and it's going to be like, to be continued. I doubt it. Yeah, it's just a palette swap, right? Like no joke, Yosuke reminds me of me when I didn't want to be gay back in high school. Slowpoke! It's yeah. tough coming to turns with yourself. Like... My dude, it's hard to be like, yo. Thanks for being here, though. I know it's, I know it's hype, and, and, and you want to finish it, but just don't have the time. Tomorrow, though, at least it's not Sunday, right? Yeah, we actually get to see the result of this tomorrow. The last ones. Sorry, I got a big yawn after um, all that reading. So we're going to be playing more Final Fantasy VIII tomorrow. It's good. We're going to be playing the finale, like not the finale, the, f the, the next part of Yosuke's story, facing his self, which I'm excited for. This game is at, like really good. Lots of reading, but very good. Is this what books are kind of like? Is this why everyone likes books? What do you mean? I've had I've had books with only pictures. What? You, they're... what? I like um. I like it on hard though. I, I I think it's a nice little little balance. You actually get to see some of the moves and stuff of the yeah. characters. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get my ass kicked, and then sometimes I just insta kill them to death. <laughs> yeah. And that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, we'll have to see how long everything is, right? Uh, just depends on, on how long these stories are, how much they repeat, and yada yada yada. We'll, we'll figure it out, and we'll do we'll do what's best and whatever wants to do. So yeah. yeah. Um, but we got some prizes for next month. The waffles mm -hmm. are resetting tomorrow. It's mm -hmm. gonna be a cool mm -hmm. day. Tomorrow is Wednesday, right? My dudes. Oh yes. Oh, nice. The first Canada Day. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. I guess. We'll do Canada things. Yeah, we'll be extra Canadian tomorrow. Wear oh, we'll we wear flannel. Yeah, wear flannel. Cool. We actually need like a little Canadian flag or something. So that people know. Yeah. When we say like sorry, they're not like, sorry. why are they saying sorry? Sorry. Uh, and when we say Zed, well, anyways, they'll be like, what's up with that? Why you so, why you speak so weird? Sorry, we took so much of your time at the end here, um, just talking about Canada and stuff. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but lots of cool stuff in the future. Coming back to P5R after this, uh, after we finish Final Fantasy VIII, who knows we're going to play. At least some other cool JRPG, so we'll do a vote for that, so make sure to get in on that. And congratulations for, uh, I mean, I guess you could do the top to see who the top waffle winners are, but I, should I just say it right now? If you're confident, then yeah. Yeah, unless you guys do something that subverts my expectations right before the end. Wow. But congratulations, Raiga, Coda, and Zero. Raiga got nine million waffles. Wow. Raiga Coda, was third last month, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, Coda got 7.8 million, and Zero got 5 million. You did it! Thank you. Nice. When do we do the vote for the start of streams changing? Moving back an hour. Uh, yeah, like soonish. Soonish. Whenever the time feels right. Yeah. We're moving target. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Congrats, and congrats to all the raffle winners last Friday. Uh, so yeah, from now on we'll reset reset the waffles uh, every uh, last Friday of the month, and we'll go from there. So it'll be like every four weeks, basically. Yeah. That's gonna be yeah. fun. Yeah. All right. Well, until next time. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.